Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood. Here lately I've been trying to get out two projects a week, but this week I may get out two versions of the same project. And right now it is the Hobo Bank. If you want to see the second version, stick around. Alright, full disclosure, for the basic shape of this box, I used Gravini, and I'll put a link to that, or in the description, and put that right here. It's not, it's not Gravini.com, you'll see it, but look for that link in the show more section. But Gravini is where I got the basic shape for this box, but then I modified it. Because in Gravini, the way that their set's up with this hinged top, it's actually the top. It's up here on the top. So I reoriented it. And when you use Gravini and this is the top, well, when it wants you put the legs on, it's down here. I want my legs over here so I can have this door on the side. And they have this neat little lock available on some of the des designs in Gravini but not on this box so I had to cut copy paste steal from other designs on Gravini in order to get this lock design but move that lock and then that swings open and you have access to all your cash and let's lock her back up And I am working on a second version of this that is going to look more like a bank vault and be more secure and have a working locking mechanism. And before I show you that, let's just jump over to Lightburn and show you the plans for this. It's a real simple box. Switch, switch, switch. Where are you at? There we are. So the, the box will come just as you see it with all this artwork. It has the double Ds, which is, uh, for some of you that are aware, that is the double digits for variable text. If I move this over here to the work bed and look at preview, those double D's become the numbers on the dial, 1 through 36. If you're using Lightburn, you don't have to do anything special. That's just what it does. But it's a very, very simple box. Six sides. I opted not to put a slot and tab on the sides of these. I just wanted to keep it real clean. Because it doesn't really need it. It's not like it's going to be supporting a ton of weight. And if you cut your curves out right, that's going to be good and tight without those there. Now, one tip, one tr huge, huge tip. When you're assembling the door, the door has these tabs that stick up here. And that's what these round pieces here go on to. Those are the hinges, if you will. Put those on the door first. In fact, I want to do that one of the first things you do assembly-wise. Go ahead and slide them on in place. And then assemble uh, everything except for the top. You can put, and you might even save the feet for actually very, very last. But assemble the, the bottom, and this is the bottom here. The bottom and the four sides, or three sides bottom and three sides then whenever you're ready to put the top on you slide the door since you already got that round piece on the bottom hinge just drop it into that right there and that'll help position it and hold it in place 
Then you can slide this one down on top of the top circle and then just kind of shimmy shake everything around to it all lines up and you can snap it all together then snap the feet on. Real real simple design and easy to assemble and I can't say the same for the second version. The second version I wanted to have a working lock mechanism. So I went out and designed a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> So the working lock mechanism, and this is just a door. I haven't fully assembled one yet. I'm still working on the working prototype. But that's the front door of the vault of the bank. It's many, many layers. It's uh, the doors one. You got a second layer, third layer, the number dials four so one two three four and then the top dial is two so six layers just from the on the face so it's a pretty um you know decent pretty hefty pretty impressive piece of work but then the back side i've got a special little box and you can see on either side there you got a pin there and a pin there and if you put it in the right combination, then you can get those sliding and out to lock the box. Now from the front, the front the number dial actually spins and you put in your combination whatever your combination is once you've dialed in your combination then you can take and actually twist the vault and unlock the vault in that case I locked it and then unlock it and I don't have any of this glued up yet but this is a little bit not a little bit this is this is more challenging a more challenging build it was a whole lot more challenging design um, but boy uh, once I get that fully assembled and then what I plan to do is those will uh, slide out on either side of the face and then I'll hang one of the locks on either side so to be double locked double barred a whole lot more secure than just that one but this would be a neat build uh if you wanted to do with you know grandson or granddaughter if she's into that thing uh just be a, a fun project to put together put together together and uh I'm going to take you over to Lightburn. I'm still working on this. I plan to have it up before the end of the week. But let's jump over to Lightburn. It's a new. And that was, see, recent projects. That was Hobo Bank. We want the Hobo Bank locking. <laughs> so there you go. So there pretty much is the original box and I need to actually duplicate this because I need two of those say so control D duplicate that okay and then all of this is what is needed to make the locking mechanism and once I get a fully working uh, prototype and everything is working like it's supposed to, I'll do an assembly video of this just like I did with the gumball. Because um, actually I don't think I need this. And I'm not sure about how many of those I need. I've still got to work that out. So if I'll save... 
So it's been a little bit hectic this week. Um, the first one was, you know, like I said, I used Gravini to help with the basic geometry. But then I had to reposition the legs and install those to what was the side is now the bottom. Uh, redesigned the door so it can have a lock on it. And that's already on HoboWithWood.com. So I'm going to take a second and jump in here and actually show you Gravini. Gravini is my new favorite box designer. I was using Boxes.py, which a lot of you guys are probably familiar with and use on a regular basis and then get aggravated because you have so many problems with it and the files don't want to work the way they're supposed to. Once you get them into Lightburn, they... It's not light burn friendly. You can't resize your slots and tabs. So let's jump over here to Gravini and it is gravini.cz slash en. And that's gonna be right there at the bottom and a link in the description. But this is Gravini. And one of the viewers turned me on to this and I absolutely love it. Uh, there's a chance for you to log in, but I have not figured out yet what the login's for because uh, I've not needed to log in for what I'm doing. Um, for this particular box, uh, when you go to Gravini, you've got a, the, the menu is a little bit convoluted. There are a couple videos. If you go to here to the video tab, there's a couple tutorials that will help you figure out to, how to navigate around Gravini. I advise you to watch those, but if you go into projects and I did a box designer and I did um, a box with a hinged lid, I modified that because you see here there's lots of angles. I don't like angles, I prefer radii, so I re redesigned that and they have theirs to wear there was, uh, let's see, was it this side? Yeah, it was this side. This side was not, uh, it, it was left exposed, if you will. So I, I remodeled, redesigned the whole way the box lid fit. Changed this, because you see there's no lock on this side, and I added the extra tab to this side with the hole in it to put the lock in it extending this finger out to accommodate that. But whenever you use Gravini, and now you say, you know what, I wanna add the legs to it. Uh, let's see, no, cancel that. Didn't wanna put a hole there. No hole. Feel. Ah, oh. so this is what, you gotta be careful. On the bottom, feel, there we go. Bottom. I won't, uh, there we go, legs. So here, their design has it putting legs actually on the side, not on the bottom. And since this is their bottom, this is the top, I actually made the top the front door, so the legs are going to be in their own position. So if I tell it to remove the legs and try to do it, like that, there's no way I can put the legs where I want them because it always puts them opposite the door. So I had to rework the file, you know, quite a bit in order to get it to work the way I wanted it to. But if you were feeling froggy, this is the website that I used and the Gravini box designer with the hinged lid is the one that I used to create the basic shape of the piggy bank. But there are a lot of neat things you can do with a Gravini. I really encourage you to get over here, watch the videos, uh, because you can do all kinds of neat stuff with it that you cannot do in boxes.py. It does all this for you, creates the design. You tell it what your curf is if you want to accommodate your curf in here or you can put it at zero and then use light burn to adjust your curve. That's what I do. Uh, put in your material thickness. 
It does have some limitations, though. If you tell it, uh, I want it to be... See there? It's got a minimum of 50 millimeters in depth, right at 2 inches. You can't make a real shallow box. Thirty millimeters, and what's the smallest here? Fifty millimeters. So fifty by fifty by thirty is the smallest that they'd let you make it here, and it's now so small you don't have the options to do all those other extra things. But you can put a little legs on it if you want to. Does it need a little lid on it? Can we do a lid? Yeah, we can do a hinge lid on that one. And this one gives you a, a 3D representation of what the box is looking like as you design it, unlike boxes.py. So I really, really am a big fan of Gravini. Go over and check that out. The link will be in the description. But now, back to the original designs and the Hobo Bank. And as soon as I get the locking mechanism completely dialed in and a working prototype, I will get that box on the website as well. And that one I do really think that it would be a fun piece for a, a project to, to do together. Uh, I used to do the plastic models with the glue that would love to get you. Huh? Um, I forget, um, forget the manufacturers, all those I used to know those like, but, uh, did the Duke's car, did Daisy's Jeep. Uh, a lot of the movie cars was more my favorites. Uh, the Gran Torino from, uh, Starsky and Hutch. I love building those little model cars. So this would be a, a fun piece to put together. Cause how many pieces are there here? If I look, I want to select this entire piece. Uh, says there's 79 objects to put that together and just in the door alone uh, there's close to 59 pieces in this door to make this work uh, so a lot of engineering going on here folks uh, that's why I that's why I charge what I charge for my files my files are are light burn friendly they're light burn ready the only ones that seem to have a problem are those that work with a laser that has a different home position than the left lower front. Lasers with the upper or the back left, they sometimes get things inverted because I don't, my origin is different or my home position is different. But it's just a simple matter of usually flipping and rotating files around. Uh, but but they're still light burn friendly. That's your laser's uh configuration issue not mine uh, so this will be available very very soon and I'm going to cut this video short so that I can get back to getting this finished because I want to get this finished working and then get an assembly video so it means I'm going to have to make a prototype that works and then make another one showing you how to put it together and then get it up on the website and get all this done before Saturday's live so thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging around. Uh, keep in mind, the patrons, the gold patrons get all these files for free. Gold patrons get a 100% discount off of my file designs on hobowithwood.com. Silver gets 80% off and bronze gets 60% off. So it's in your best interest if you like these projects and buying projects Sign up as a gold patron because that is the best deal going. Since January, I've been averaging two projects a week since the end of January. January, February, March. Uh, so for two, uh, let's say four, four and five, five, six. That's close to 10 or 12 projects just since uh, first of the year. More than that, maybe. They're not all as elaborate as this uh working mechanism some of them are quite simple and some of you prefer quite simple uh and i and for my patrons i do try and help with design requests and some of the designs since january have been specific requests from patrons 
So thank you, patrons, for your support. If you guys would please consider becoming a patron, jump over to patreon.com slash hobowithwood. Join the Hobo Nation, and let's keep this train a-rolling. Keep in mind, June is it 16th. I always have to look that up. June 15th. I might have to look it up on the calendar. I don't want to tell you wrong. I know it's at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Because that's the time that everybody can watch. June 15th is a Saturday. 3 p.m. My two-year anniversary celebration. And we're going to be giving away a rolly. Giving away a rolly. Somebody is going to take one of these home during that live stream. And it's not limited to just the U.S. It's open to anybody in the live stream watching. Um, this Saturday, uh, the... What is it going to be? Today is the 26th. So, yeah, the 30th. 6.30. Uh, Saturday, June the 30th. Uh, I'll be live again this time at 3 p.m. Eastern. And I guess that's minus 4 GMT. And Leo from Rolly Automation will be in the live stream to answer your questions regarding the existing Rollies and the future of Rolly. What's he got up his sleeve? So you don't want to miss that. So keep your eyes peeled for the next video showing the assembly process for this and the next live stream with, with Q himself. All right. I'm Steve, Hobo with Wood. I appreciate you guys checking out the video today, and I'll see you in the next one.